My name is Brian Watkins and this is my video tutorial on pivot tables. Specifically, the tutorial on table D9, which is the table involving a calculated field. Uh, calculated fields are the most powerful option that pivot tables uh, offers. It gives you the chance to include a field beyond the field provided in your data. Here's our data and specifically we are told that we want to establish a rule to apply to total sales of a salesperson to see if they get an extra bonus. So let's do the uh, underlying report and we'll do that by insert pivot table. Okay, and you'll see why we had to open this in a new worksheet. You have five tables. They correspond to your data. But on the other worksheets on our practice uh, workbook, you would see the calculated fields for bonus and bonus percent because once you've defined them, they stay in the workbook forever. So we're going to start by putting a country filter on and setting it to the UK. Next, we're going to put the salesperson along the rows. And then we'll put the order date. And you'll see that the order date has not been grouped. So we have to group it and we've learned that we need to group this with quarters, let me put it up here, with quarters and years so that we get all the quarters and not just the four full quarters from one from 2004. So when I say okay, now we have all our quarters, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two. We need the order amounts and we need to format the amount so that we can see clean number. Okay, we're ready to begin calculating our fields because we have each of our salesperson's quarterly sales from um, at least as far as our data goes. And what we're going to calculate is going to be a field that's going to go in this next column going to be called the bonus percentage. Calculated fields come from the calculations bar. Uh, if you don't see calculations, uh, just it, it may be that uh, because I've squeezed this to fit in the video screen, it may appear differently, but uh, in fact I'm going to check that. Okay, just to be safe, I pulled up Excel and uh, sure enough when the uh, full screen is open, the fields, items, and sets has its own button. So that's what you want to hit. You want to hit fields, items, and sets. And right now, the way I had this shrunk down, all you would see is this calculations button. So you've seen what it looks like full. You want fields, items, and sets. We're going to do a calculated field. Remember, pivot tables deal with fields, not with variables. So when you do one calculation, you're really going to do a calculation on an entire range of data. So we'll name the field bonus percentage. Let's uh, just keep it uh, one word with no spaces just to be safe. And the formula is going to be an if statement. If you've forgotten the syntax for an if statement, then all you need to do is go back into your spreadsheet and pull up a formula if. And I'll, In fact, let's do that right now. If you've forgotten how to do an if, go to formulas, go to logical, and click on if. Um, it's not going to tell you it's part of a pivot table report. Let's click out of the pivot table logic table if. There, now it comes out. And it will tell you exactly what the uh, formula looks like. So cancel that. I can type equals if parenthesis and it'll tell me logical test comma if true value comma if false value. So you can either type it or you can call it up with the logical box. Logical test comma, value if true, comma, value if false. So that's just a hint about what you would do if you totally forgot how to do an if statement and you knew that you had to do this calculated field. So let's go back to calculated fields 
and we're going to do the calculated field and we're going to call it bonus percentage and it's going to be an if statement and if open parenthesis and what we're going to put in the if is the order amount insert the field so we don't type it we click it from the fields insert field there it goes computer brought that in and when the computer does it you know it's going to work if the order amount is greater than 20,000 then I want 15 percent so the value of true is 15 but if it's not then I want the false value which is 0.1 that's my if statement I close it up and I hit OK now I have bonus percentage let's uncheck it uh, and let's drag it I want it to be a column so let's drag it over to the uh, no nope, won't go there how about values perfect that's right where I want it so now I have the the bonus percentage it needs to be formatted so it's value field settings and just call it bonus percent that's what I want my heading to be bonus percent and the number format is going to be percentage I don't need any decimals because it's either 10 percent or 15 percent okay there it is I have my bonus percent so my next field is going to be bonus amount so I go to calculations fields calculated field and this one is going to be bonus I'll just call it bonus and the formula is going to be selected from the available fields so it's going to be order amount insert field times bonus percentage insert field hit OK and it has calculated the bonus for me so I just need to format it and let's call it bonus amount and let's format our number to and there's bonus amount and let's get this is clunky sum of order let's just give it a uh, total sales okay so now we can read our report a little bit better so there it is it was that simple and you see that bonus I can unclick it or I can click it um, that was dumb because now I have to reformat it but I showed you how it becomes a field that you can manipulate so we called it uh, bonus amount or we could just call it bonus and we're gonna format it as a number oops already exists so cancel it okay and format it number two and we'll give it uh, because it's a let's give it another column name bonus amount okay so there we have it it didn't conflict with the variable name we have total sales bonus percent bonus amount last thing we do is just give it our favorite uh, our favorite table format one that has there we go that's a good one and we click out and that's our report and I have I have hinted heavily that uh, this one here is going to be uh, the most valuable to you in the future because when you calculate a field you really it's unlimited what you can do with the basic data we're well beyond the five fields that were provided we've added to the bonus percent and bonus amount we could add as many more as we want so that would conclude our tutorials on pivot tables at this point go back randomly pick a table off the sheet and see if you can do it from scratch if not spend some more time with the video or come and see me in my office aloha